name is Rhiannon, I'm 17 years old. I go to Marceline College and I'm here to find out how to become an aircraft engineer. Aircraft engineering involves the maintenance and servicing of all parts of an aircraft. Rhiannon is going to be spending a couple of days here at Air New Zealand Engineering Services. Um, naturally you can imagine we can't stop on a cloud, get out and fix something or change something. Um, we don't fly with a toolkit, um, so it has to be right first time and every time. You must be Rhiannon. You must be Calvin. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's go. Hey okay, Rhiannon, we need to get some overalls for you today, so head into there, put some overalls on and we'll see you in a minute. Alrighty. The engineering crew is awaiting a 747 that has just touched down. It needs a full service plus the swapping of two engines as part of routine servicing. To maintain the flight schedule, it can only spend 34 hours in the hangar, but in that time it will receive 800 work hours of servicing. My biggest buzz in, in this industry is actually um, achieving repairs under time constraints. Uh, making sure that aeroplane gets out of the hangar on time so that the flying public can get to their holidays. Also the challenges of um, doing some of the work, some of it's quite technical um, and you have to really think about what you're doing, you have to um, uh, understand your product very well and um, I find that you know, quite a challenge at times and I enjoy that challenge. Rhiannon, this is a um, RB211 a G series engine. Yeah. This is the engine that powers our 747 that you see that you're going to do involved in the engine change today. Um, basically you can imagine it like a big vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Sucks in air through the front here. Yeah. And about the middle it gets can um, gets fuel put into it and, and, and it combusts and then it spits all the hot air out the back. Now this is the back end of the engine. This is the hot section or the hot end. Oh, and yes. that's the turbine that you see in there and that gets extremely hot. All the wavy bits that you see is a mixer and it mixes the hot air from the engine with cold air from the outside. And what does that do? It makes it quiet. Oh, So um, we don't keep people awake at night. The engine has been unbolted and is ready to be lowered. And Rhiannon's going to lend a hand. Oh, shit. Let's run it down and fall. Yeah, And then another yep. part. Right. Okay, it weighs about five tonnes and is worth five million dollars. But no pressure, Rhiannon. Um, working to um, time limits and pressures. The guys will group together, they'll work things out and they'll get the aircraft out. Oh, felt, I felt involved, yeah. <laughs> no, it felt really good, it was fun. After a replacement engine has been fitted, the engineers must start it up and run it on the tarmac to ensure all is well. Rhiannon can't do that, but she can do the next best thing, in a flight simulator. Our captain will be Beno TC. This is one of seven simulators at Air New Zealand and is worth $17 million. We're now going to start the engine, mission start, then we're going to move the lever into this start position. What kind of, what kind of things could go wrong? Well, we could have an engine fire, so um, Beno, do you think you could set that up for us? Here goes, fire number two. And Brianna, if you could cancel the master warning, please. And then I take this off. Release the fire push button and fire one buck bottle into it. Yes, number one, that's fine. Excellent. Cool. Another role of the engineers is to test and maintain the onboard safety equipment such as life rafts and emergency evacuation slides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we encourage um, trainees to, to join the airline. We have an, uh, a training uh, area, a training department, which looks after and coaches people through the industry. Um, inside our own industry um, and the airline here, you can move from a, a tradesperson through to a team leader. Um, there's opportunities to do um, courses. You can take those skills and also export them overseas. There are um, a number of um, airlines around the world and maintenance organisations which will rely on um, qualified staff. So the world could be your oyster. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm Rhiannon. I'm Lillian. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So what, what's so enticing about it, you know, what, what, attract, um, what, what makes you want to do it? It's different, you know, it's, um, 
because I wasn't a very mechanically minded person yeah. and I thought, you know, getting out there and working on, you know, engines and all this stuff, you know, it probably helped me a bit. Yeah. So um, it's something really new what girls not, don't normally do this sort of thing. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I thought, you know, just go out there and learn something about what boys do out there. So. Yeah. So, what's it like working in an industry that's predominantly male? It's it's fine. There's you know it's um, I don't th I don't find anything wrong with it or you know there's nothing hard about it. Yeah. You, you just work like you're working at any other workplace. You yeah. you go there, you learn, you apply what you learn, and yeah. you learn you know you're good at it <laughs> in the, yeah. at the end of the day. So that's yeah. you're learning something new every day when you come in here. Yeah. Aircrafts are a whole different. Um, they're a whole different machine. They're different to cars or, or a motorbike, and um, it's more important to, to get it running right and everything like that, because lives are at risk and stuff like that. You know, you're in the air, thousands and thousands of feet in the air, and if something goes wrong, you know, it's back on the engineer. Well, Rianne showed some really good qualities that we would like to see in um, an aircraft engineer. Um, she's very enthusiastic. Um, she certainly um, joined the team of, of guys on the engine change and uh, got involved. She wasn't afraid to get her hands dirty, so they're all good things. And she has a very inquisitive mind. She was always asking questions, which is a fantastic thing to have. So, Carmen, this is where I leave you. Thank you for all your help today. Not a problem. I hope you've enjoyed yourself today, and I wish you well for your um, future career, whatever it might be. Thank you. To get into this career, you'll need a good standard of English, maths and science subjects. If you're a backyard tinkerer on engines, that'll help too. After completing the Level 3 Certificate Pre-Employment, you will work towards a National Certificate in Aeronautical Engineering Level 4. You have to be very conscientious, practical and methodical, and it's a great job with great pay and can take you anywhere in the world. For further information, check out two great new sites with loads of information about this awesome career at www.engineeringinteractive.co.nz or www.plane-training.com Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.